this could get really bad. As today, we're gonna go ahead and look over at Niji Sanji's Nino Kosaka, who has recently gotten herself into trouble with a lot of Niji Sanji fans, with many of them upset, saying things like, just realized how problematic Nina Kosaka is, and then just multiple people talking about how much they hate Nina Kosaka and wish she would graduate. And now I continue to get sent or added in these tweets of people talking about how much they hate Nina Kosaka, and then I also got added in a tweet talking about the problematic things that Nina Kosaka has done, which is what all of this stems from. People are going to this tweet, reading what it has to say, and talking about how problematic Nina Kosaka is. And now, I originally wasn't really going to talk about this because a lot of it just boils down to Nina Kosaka not really knowing how to read the room or just really jokes that people don't like. But unfortunately, this has gotten to a point where it seems like Niji Sanji members are picking up on it, and we'll get into that later. But as I said, a lot of it just seems like jokes that Nina Kosaka has said that people don't like or has made members uncomfortable, or just Nina not knowing how to read the room. So what I've done is I've gone through that entire list of quote problematic things that Nina Kosaka could have potentially done and picked out the only things that maybe are problematic. So let's go ahead and get into those quote problematic things and you guys can let me know what you think in the comments. And so first up on our list that a lot of people are taking issue with is the fact that she called Pomu's channel dead. Honestly, Pomu? Thanks, Luka. You what? really crossed me. What do you mean, what? When oh, you advertised Whoa. Family war. your uh -oh. dying, Family war. dead oh my God. channel <laughs> in mine. You traded when I traded were with never uh, alive to me. What? On I love you, in, in like a family. Let's hang later. And, like and now, as you can see at the end of the clip, she was clearly joking. And if you look at the chat records from the Minecraft stream, they were all just joking with each other because they were, quote, mad at Poma Rainpuff for something she did in Minecraft. So this is seemingly taken out of context, but people were very upset during that stream, mentioning it to Nina Kosaka and telling her to apologize. Which brings me to the second segment of that stream where Nina told her chat that she will apologize to Pomo about the dying channel comment only if they sent her $100 plus donations please make up with pomo here i tell you what chat give me a few more super chats talking about how mad pomo is and maybe i'll make it up with her i just i don't i don't get it i think i think i need a little bit more cajoling you know and so with this one here i personally don't understand why people are taking an issue with it it happened a long time ago and nina was clearly just joking with her and i'm sure pomo also took it as a joke now the next one is from a twitter space that i believe is deleted so i'm not going to show the clip but it was nina making a joke to luka kanashiro about reimu's dog being very old and how it will probably die soon because reimu came in to talk about her sick dog and how she was taking it to the vet at seven in the morning and as i said nina made a joke about how it was already old and will probably die soon anyways i personally think this one is one of the biggest issues on this list but again it could just be nina not reading the room and not realizing the joke she is making because i believe she ended up apologizing about it soon after and now the next one comes from a stream where niji sanji ian members were getting drunk with each other on fulgur ovid's channel and now the clip i'm about to show you is her getting upset with fulgur for not allowing her to talk about a sensitive topic on stream and basically telling her to shut up about it like the food on thing do i have to end this stream Wait. children do i have to end Wait. this stream shut up nina shut up Wait, you don't even know what I'm going to uh, say, don't you? I know Nina? exactly what you're going to say. <laughs> I've, I've been talked to by I've other I've literally people. said two words tonight, Fuchan, and you're Nina? already shutting me Nina, up. Nina, talk as much as you want, but not, not about that thing, please. What? About Fuchan? You don't even know what I'm going to say. Brother, I know exactly what you're going to say because I, other saying? people talk to me about that. it. So clearly, Fu didn't want Nina to talk about the topic, but she really wanted to do so and kept pestering him about it. And then just a minute later, she made some things uncomfortable and then said this. Are you in fucking group chat chatting to me about <laughs> wait, wait, what's happening? What's happening? Tell I me, don't know. Me, okay. Come on, you're making me feel really welcome, baby. I love you, Nina. How how's your trip no, been, Nina? How's your trip been? No, 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 Nina, Nina, tell me, tell me, what is it? What is it about Fuchan? No, shut up. No, 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 no. Do not shut up. Come on, come on, Nina. How was your trip, Nina? How's Paris been? Are we gonna graduate? We're gonna graduate in a We're second. Gonna gonna graduate Nina together. tells me how Paris Someone is doing. Someone needs to DM me. So again, with this one, I just think they were all just joking with one another, and the other Niji Sanji members wanted to know about the topic. However, Fulgur Ovid did not want it to get out, and I understand that. However, people are taking issue with this because Nina Kosaka clearly made things awkward and then just left unannounced later on in the stream, which people thought was really weird. And now on this clip, it comes from the Unrailed collab on Nina Kosaka's channel, which about 50 two minutes into the three and a half hour stream nina kosaka ended up embarrassing millie parfait telling millie parfait to stop sexualizing her in which case millie parfait ended up going silent the rest of the stream millie wow. you should be a good girl you're being a bad girl millie <laughs> always good girl man 
Okay, pasties no, you... are... No, mm -hmm. Millie, Millie, yamete. Kudasai, yamete. Think, okay, pasties are not that... Pasties are safe, yeah. So basically, if... Uh, it's like nipple bandages. Uh, Millie, 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 you should be a good girl, and please do not make your make your mother upset. Yeah, honey, please. Please, Millie. It's like bra. And now there are a ton more moments that people continue to point out, but again, a lot of them just boil down to Nina either making people feel uncomfortable, not reading the room, or just making jokes that she doesn't realize could be potentially bad. And a lot of this has caused people to post these clips on TikTok trying to get Nina Kosaka quote canceled, posting them to Twitter, going inside of the replies to other Niji Sanji members talking about how problematic Nina Kosaka is and saying that they need to do something about this. And as I mentioned earlier, we had Niji Sanji members talking about about Nina Kosaka with Millie Parfait saying, I love Nina Kosaka from Niji Sanji Ian's third wave Etheria. And there are a ton of quote retweets to this tweet of people saying to say psych and talking about how problematic Nina Kosaka is and insinuating that management forced Millie Parfait to say this when I highly doubt that. Later that day, we had Millie tweeting out, instead of hating someone, channel your hate by doing something productive in your life. Learn a language, find a new hobby, or make new friends. You're special and there's more to life than hate. Your time is precious. Don't waste it on something Something you won't remember years from now. And this had even more people quote retweeting it talking about the situation and talking about how this tweet could potentially be wrong. But we also had people replying to it at the top of the replies to this tweet saying, Millie, just basing off the timing of this tweet, is it safe to say that a huge chunk of the context as I hate Nina has been getting on a non-board, which recently leaked to more public spaces such as Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok, which is why I've received a ton of DMs and people adding me in the situation, asking me to talk about it and give my opinion on it. With this person continuing on saying that's been festering for months and to be honest either her or management should be the ones addressing it instead of you coming to the forefront with this otherwise based tweet apologize slash clarify where necessary but it has to come from her people trust accountability more than a show of love and i don't know for certain if the first tweet had to do with nino kosaka getting a lot of hate on twitter and tiktok but it may have but this tweet definitely seems like it was made after a lot of the backlash that the previous tweet had received like i said a lot of people replying to the tweet about how bad nino kosaka is and quote retweeting with the same thing now since a lot of you that DM me the situation wanted me to give my opinion on it and talk about it, I personally think a lot of it just boils down to her not knowing how to read the room, like I said in the beginning. And a lot of the situations that people talked about are just jokes and them joking with one another, but people that watch the streams don't understand that. When it comes to her joking about Pomu's quote, dead channel, that is clearly just a joke. Pomu's channel is not dead, nor was it dead back in April. And if you watched the actual stream and you saw the chat messages inside of Minecraft, they were all just clearly joking with each other against Pomo. So I think a lot of the people that are complaining about this do need to learn what a joke is, but I'm not completely defending everything that Nina Kosaka has done, since some of it is kind of problematic. Like the thing with Reimu's dog, because that is a little too far, and she should not have joked about that, considering that Reimu's dog was sick and is very old. This is Reimu's family dog, and probably the dog that she grew up with, so probably not the best time to make that joke. I really hope Nina Kosaka doesn't end up graduating or get terminated because of this whole situation going on. I don't think it'll happen, and I really hope it doesn't. I think she just needs to learn to read the room a little better and to try not to make other members uncomfortable in situations. That is just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. As we also had Rosemi Lovelock from Nichi Sanji Ian thanking everyone for 400,000 subscribers on YouTube. Huge congratulations to her for reaching that milestone. We also have a situation coming out from a VTuber by the name of Otoishi from Kawaii Official, who tweeted out, I'm not sad because they ended up getting banned on YouTube having their channel terminated because they're a scam profile, which doesn't make any sense since they don't participate in any scams. With them saying, I have never done spam, scams, or any other suspicious commercial activities. I have not received any warning nor strike either. The policy states that three strikes will be issued before termination. Please kindly review my channel, adding Team YouTube. It says that they were banned for spam, scam, or commercially deceptive content that are not allowed on YouTube, which they have not done. YouTube did reply to this, and I believe they are looking into it right now, but they are still currently banned on YouTube at this time. Once they are banned, I will inform you all, this situation really does suck, and I hope they are unbanned very soon. We also have some news coming out from Bao, who recently debuted her 4.0 model, which is beautiful. Tweeting out, with all the love in my heart, I am very proud to announce the launch of my Citrus Love merch collection. All albums will be personally signed by me. Don't don't forget to pre-order now, and the link to that will be in the description for you to do so. Here is the image she shared for the merch. We also have some news coming out from Hololive, who tweeted out that on September 7, 2022, Hololive Productions will celebrate the fifth anniversary of the day 
debut of Tokino Sora. We have prepared a plan to enjoy the fifth anniversary with you, so please check the details. And the link for that will be in the description. Happy five year anniversary to Tokino Sora, and happy five year anniversary to Hololive as a whole. That's all for me, though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you missed yesterday's news, please click the button to my left or right and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye.